majority of Forex traders kind of shoot from the hip and they just enter trade after trade after trade and they're trying to figure out where they could get better, where they could improve, where their mistakes were. On today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you should write down your trades into a journal, create the journal for you so you know exactly what you can do to become better. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, what I want to do is I want to talk about trading journals. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about making money from home and the internet, and we ask two things of you. Number one, if you want more videos like this, such as Forex trading and trading journals, you're going to want to click the like button, but also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button because at the time of recording this, we are about to hit 6,000 subscribers and that next subscribe would mean a lot to us. So in today's video, I wanna talk about a trade journal. Now, first things first, why do you need a trade journal? Well, when you're looking through life, what do you have all the time in school? A report card. I'm sure a lot of people got nervous when I said that statement, a report card. You didn't want to bring it home to your parents because you got a C or a D or whatever, and you had to face the reality that you weren't doing as well as you thought you were doing. But in trading, people just forget about it. They just take trades, they just take the next trade, they take the next trade, and they move on to the next day, and they don't remember why they won or lost a trade. You need to write down why you won or lost a trade. And so in today's video, aside from this portion here, I want to create a full trade journal for you. So what I want to do now is give you all the components into creating the proper trading journal. So first things first is really easy. I'm gonna go right across the top here. You're going to need your date. When did you actually execute the trade? This is just to jog your memory and it's also to show you your frequency of trading. Because if you notice and you only have one trade taken every two months, and you're trying to figure out how to get more trades, that's gonna help you. Secondly, if you have a bajillion trades every single day and you're making a lot of mistakes, it's gonna tell you probably you need to slow down. So first things first is getting the date. The second piece of information you're gonna to wanna to write down is the pair you entered on. Now obviously in today's video, our topic is Forex trading, but this can go for any market. You could talk about the stock market, you could talk about commodities, it does not matter. The pair is needed in order for us to remember exactly where we are each day in the trade. Now the next two pieces of information are extremely important. They are your TP and your SL. What does that mean? First of all, your TP means your take profit. That means how many pips were you targeting when you entered the trade? If it was 30 pips, 40 pips, 50 pips, I don't need price points. I need you to measure how many pips am I targeting and I want you to do the same on the stop loss. The reason being is the golden rule I always tell you guys you need to have a minimum of a one to two risk reward ratio. Remember, I would never make a dime trading if I didn't have at least a one to two risk reward ratio, ever. We've done that in a previous video and I showed you guys how you can be 37% accurate and still make money. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that because this part is so crucial to your success. Now moving forward, we have two more components. First of all, did you win or did you lose the trade? That's just helpful for us to know what happened. Now remember, winning a trade should not mean that you're the god, and losing a trade should not mean that you don't know what you're doing, but you need to remember if you won or if you lost. Finally, this is the big one. If you can't read that with my handwriting, that says emotion. What did you feel when you entered the trade? So you're gonna enter all the information aside from the win-loss the moment you enter the trade. So, Today's date that we are recording this is February 10th. So on 2.10, I enter the trade on Euro USD. I have a 40 pip take profit and I have a 15 pip stop loss and I'm feeling confident with the trade. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna let the trade ride out. Whatever happens, happens. If you win the trade, you're gonna put a W right here. If you were to lose the trade, you would put an L right there. And I encourage you to simply do this on a white piece of paper, just like I'm doing. And do this over and over and over for two months. And then what I want you to do is start circling how many wins you had, how many losses you had, and start analyzing this. 
Because all through our life, we're taught we need to analyze. How so? You need to analyze a report card. You need to analyze your credit report. You need to analyze your bank statements. Why are we not analyzing our trades in the journal that we have? So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this helped you. And if you are new around here, again, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, click that like button, and I will see you guys back on the next video.